Hello everyone, welcome to Value. So today we're going to look at a very very special merger and this is between Rocket Lab and Vector Acquisition Corporation. So we're finally getting Rocket Lab coming to the market and this uh, ticker symbol if you've already brought it that like you can literally buy Rocket Lab right now if you wanted to because Vector Acquisition Corporation which is a SPAC um, can be brought already. Uh, once it merges uh, that name will change to Rocket Lab and you will own your shares anyway. Um, so you, you don't have to actually wait for the actual merger, you can just buy it right now if you really wanted to. Um, and if you know anything about Rocket Lab, you know that this is a very, very innovative company. And in the next two years, they're going to do so much in terms of space exploration. Uh, they already have ink deals with NASA to uh, go to the moon. They have recently just inked a deal to go to Mars. Um, in terms of satellites anyway, not sending people quite yet um, but I think um, Rocket Lab has those ambitious plans to send people into space in the future which is what makes this company pretty extraordinary like in terms of today it's it's not too bad in terms of what it's done already um, but I, I'm most most excited about what their future and in the future they're going to just be one of the big hitters I reckon um, so if you haven't seen this presentation slide where it talks about their revenues and how much they plan to earn So 2021 they expect to earn about 69 million dollars and in next year they expect to earn 176 million dollars So you can see they kind of expect themselves to be earning quite a bit of revenue going forward And in, in 2027 they expect to go to 1.5 billion dollars in revenue um, you know, do the math right. Today you're looking at a company that's basically um, at the current price tag of $11, you're looking at a $4.5 billion company when it's merging, when it merges. Um, and that's that's the thing. It's like for, if you pay $4.5 billion for a company and it generates in the future, no, let's, just, let's just say the next five years, they get to that $1.1 billion, uh, that valuation's going to go multiples you know uh, so basically if they can achieve what they say they're going to do then it very much happens and basically as you can say see here current bookings for 2021 represent 90 percent of forecast revenue so you can only see that they they have a lot of bookings they have an extremely large amount of bookings that they can actually predict um, how much they're going to earn very much so um, beforehand because sending satellites into space is not something you d decide next week that you're going to do you've got to do this m several months in advance or even years in advance um, and they already have these contracts with these companies which makes their near-term revenue quite reliable when it comes to them measuring it because they will, they have to secure these contracts way way in advance it's not like something you decide you want tomorrow and you get it tomorrow um, it's something you decide you want tomorrow and you get it maybe in three months or six months time um, so you know it's something that allows them to forecast their revenue actually in a very very accurate way in a sense um, and I'm quite excited for this company that over time they're just going to be a massive massive company and you've got the opportunity to buy at a fair value at a position at a four and a half billion valuation but as time goes this company is just going to be extraordinarily valuable so I think just having NASA come on board and to trust this company to send um, yeah a mission to the moon is pretty extraordinary they expect um, th this mission to happen in quarter four so it very very much is going to be happening quite soon um, with the amount of time, like the, with the speed that time just happens, um, I think quarter four is just going to happen in a blink of an eye. Uh, and I think it's going to be a massive, massive event for the company and possibly even for the share price as well. Um, so it's possibly something for you to look out for, of course. Um, but, you know, it's, yeah, something that I think regardless, like short term, I think the company looks pretty good. Uh, long term company looks amazing um, so of course but of course you've got to decide um, that you know is this a company you want to go into long term with 
and and in a sense of there is risk when it goes to space because it's not every mission that's going to be successful but this company has a very very good record in terms of sending uh, things into space I will try to look at find you a slide which probably just summarizes all this um, I think they did have a quite a cool slide yeah, I think this this slide just summarizes it. As you can see, with all the pictures of all the uh, launches they've done, and and in terms of globally, they're the fourth in terms of frequent launches globally, right? So you got China as first, Russia as second, SpaceX as third, and in them as fourth. They they do more launches than Europe and Japan, uh, which is quite an extraordinary feat. So when we look at such a company, firstly we're trying to find world class companies offering extraordinary products and the fact that we can buy the share price at a good price and it's also founder led, so the founder just wants to continue to build this company to a greater, greater version of itself. Um, and yeah, I think so far so good. Space is also going to be uh, a massive frontier going into the future. Um, and that's kind of what makes this opportunity to invest in such a company um, quite a compelling prospect of course but again when you're investing in something like space uh, you do have to have a long-term prospect of course um, and that's kind of yeah like how you should be looking at it like I don't think you should invest in a space company if you do not have a long-term prospect for it um, because right now we're looking at revenue of $69 million. Um, $69 million mm, doesn't quite justify entirely, you know, um, like a really high valuation. Because, like, in, in a sense, space companies at the time of get a 100x on their uh, revenues, which is quite a high number. But for the difficulty, that's kind of how a market likes to value them. Um, so in a sense, uh, on a sixty-nine billion, a sixty-nine million revenue basis, that'd be worth about a six-point-nine billion valuation, uh, just to make things really, really simple. But of course, the market's not going to go bang on the dot that this company is worth six-point-nine billion. Um, it might just fluctuate between you know the five to seven or eight billion dollar marks, depending on how the market feels and. Um, yeah, like how basically the sentiment is in terms of what's happening. But I think the minute they have a very successful mission to the moon, um, I think there's a lot of excitement that's going to be around it. Uh, particularly if you ever followed Virgin Galactic and you saw what the share price did when they had a huge anticipation to basically fly into space, I think you see the same thing with uh, Rocket Lab. Um, and in even if that's not the case, by next year, one seventy-six million in revenue. This company basically re-rates from that six point nine billion to a seventeen point six billion dollar company. Um, and when you look at that valuation, um, even if they don't get to a seventeen billion valuation, uh, it could well be a very very high valuation anyway. Um, so that that's kind of what I like about these extraordinary growth companies is that the, the the chance of error is kind of quite low in getting it wrong. Unless you buy it at a really high valuation, then that's really difficult. Uh, but if you buy it at a low valuation, say like $11 right now, I think you're kind of buying at a very fair and low valuation that, you know, it, it gives you um, kind of a margin of safety that no matter what happens to the company, um, you're still in a fairly safe kind of valuation type of ground uh, especially when you consider that uh, Rocket Lab gets 777 million dollars um, so already you've got like a quarter of the valuation no not quite a quarter maybe 20 percent of the valuation um, that is uh, basically um, cash in a sense because they'll have some cash themselves already and your plus there's 777 million uh, and you've got a company that's flush with cash uh, that's basically got a lot of contracts and I think it's just going to continue to do pretty well 
And as already mentioned, um, Rocket Lab is going public. It's also going to Mars. And that's, you know, you couldn't ask for a more, you know, innovative company when it comes to space. Um, and in terms of going to Mars, very few companies have, are able to achieve this feat. Um, SpaceX will be one. Rocket Lab will be one. But you can't even buy uh, Rocket Lab. You can't even buy SpaceX on the market right now. Your next best opportunity to buy into a really, really cool space company is literally Rocket Lab. Um, unless you know otherwise really, really good space companies that you that could match the the proven experiences and innovation that Rocket Lab has proven, um, which I would very much like to hear about. Um, but for based on what I've seen so far, I think Rocket Lab is probably one of the best at what it does. Um, and that's why I've chosen to do a video on a bit about it, basically. Uh, and how how much is the mission worth to Mars? Uh, not to Mars, to the Moon. Um, apparently, Rocket Lab revealed the value of the mission to the Moon, and they get paid around about ten million US dollars, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, like t um, it's in the scheme of things for a billion dollar company, ten million isn't a ton, but it's it's pretty good, like, especially if we're considering that if they make 70, uh, $69 million and $10 million of that is from NASA, um, basically, yeah, it's a pretty large contract to them. Um, but, yeah, I look forward to um, this company coming onto um, into the public markets. I'm not sure if the share price is going to rise um, and anticipation it has today like five percent five point seven three percent on market close and yeah like I think it will just trend sideways for a little bit until the mission to the moon which might generate quite a lot of excitement among enthusiasts um, and in the wider market of course as well it's like yeah I think um, Ark Invest will be a company that would very very much like to invest um, in Rocket Lab as part of their um, kind of funds um, and I'm sure there's plenty more uh, so right now I think it's a good chance to buy into a very very innovative <coughs> company pardon me um, but yeah I think yeah it's uh, uh, yeah more or less a good situation to be in where you can buy this type of company uh, like if basically I think the best scenario is to put is if SpaceX was to release like come public today um, the valuation of SpaceX would be incredibly incredibly high uh, whereas Rocket Lab I feel like it just comes out of the radar where no one's kind of hyping it up so you kind of get at a really good valuation um, but of course we'll see how things go in the future uh, by year end on their mission to the moon and that's possibly going to shed some light whether this company uh, is in a sense justify going to justify its price tag at four and a half billion right now um, yeah if you've got any questions comments uh, post below um, until then um, yeah like let's keep track of uh, Rocket Lab when they come public and if you've got any other companies worth looking at comment below until then, good luck investing everyone.